Hi friends, in this video I am talking a little bit about how to deal with aphid infestation. I am not talking about remedies as none of them really worked for me, but I am going to explain how I tackled the aphid situation and become free of aphids for last 6 months or more. I have grown so many varieties of plants in Aero Garden in last 3 years. I have grown many herbs like thyme, dill, parsley, cilantro, green onions, stevia and a few varieties of basil. I have also grown leafy vegetables like kale, spinach, purslane, amaranth, carrots, bok choy, sorrel, fenugreek, mustard greens and many varieties of lettuce. I have also grown fruits and vegetables like radish, many varieties of tomatoes, many varieties of peppers and strawberries. Finally, I have also grown many flowers like marigold, danthus, calendulas, snapdragons, zinnias and petunias. I had extreme aphid infestation on almost all the plants. I tried many ways to get rid of aphids like spraying neem oil, spraying soap water, soaking plants in soap water, etc. but none of them solved the problem permanently. Soaking in soap water and washing the plants thoroughly gave a temporary relief for 1-2 to two weeks but it never solved the problem completely. And it's a lot of work. I even tried ladybugs but that created another mess as I have all my aerogodens indoors in my living room and dining room and they go everywhere. So I decided to trash all the plants and turn off all the gardens for a couple of months and I did. But I missed my aero garden so much and I really wanted to restart the gardening but I am scared of aphids coming back. From all my growing experience, I noticed that there are few plants that aphids don't like. They are number 1 is fenugreek from leafy vegetable category. Number 2 is tomatoes from vegetable or fruit category and number 3 is petunias from flowering category. So I restarted 5 aero gardens just within a week of shutdown. 4 of them with red heirloom cherry tomatoes and 1 with petunia flowers. I saw few aphids on young tomato plants and I was very disappointed. But they all disappeared as plants grown up. Three weeks later, I added three more gardens, one with red robin tomatoes, one with 42 day tomato and one tiny tim tomato. I don't see any aphids. Then I added two more gardens, one with verokhovoi tomato and one with venus microdwarf tomatoes. Still no aphids. Then I added two more gardens with ground cherry tomatoes. Still no aphids. Then I added one more garden with butter crunch lettuce. I saw extreme infestation on this lettuce in the past, but I don't see any more and it's been two months. So I am pretty confident that the aphids are gone now. I recently added two more gardens, one with fairy tale eggplant and one with kuka melon. It's been 45 days and I don't see any aphids. I saw lot of aphids on eggplant in the past. So my recommendation to tackle aphid infestation is trash all the plants except the plants like tomato, petunia and fenugreek, deep clean all the gardens and restore the gardens starting with tomato plants. This way we don't need to keep the aero gardens aside anymore. You can even restart all the gardens with tomatoes if you consume lot of tomatoes or can preserve them. Aphids don't like green onions as well. If you think it's not waste of resources, then you can grow green onions too while waiting to get rid of aphids completely. Thanks for listening. Hope this helps. By the way, if you want to check the plant experiments or cleaning different aerogarden models, I have links in the description below. Please take a look.